Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Recently it was announced in Defense Scoop that DISA is entering into a billion with a B agreement with HP for this GreenLake technology. Let's see what it really is all about and how it works. Today we're breaking down something a lot of IT leaders, CIOs, and cloud architects are talking about, HP GreenLake, and specifically what it means when someone says, you set up an agreement with HP GreenLake and they manage the hardware layer and sell, you, capacity, in an OPEX model. If you've heard this line in a meeting and wondered, okay, but what does that actually mean? This video is for you. Let's simplify it, compare it to AWS and Azure, and show why so many organizations in Pursur, Ijur, and Wine, Asomayur, Der, and Dan Shro, and Dan Dur, and Branitin Kur, and Dan Klein Schur. Shrosur I van Derds and government, healthcare, and enterprise are adopting this model. Think of GreenLake as cloud services running on on prem hardware that you don't own and HPE manages for you. It's basically on prem infrastructure delivered like AWS, consumption based, elastic, scalable. This is the heart of the statement. When you sign a GreenLake agreement, HPE takes full responsibility for the physical infrastructure. They handle hardware setup, firmware updates, brake fix and parts, upgrades, monitoring, lifecycle refresh, hardware expansions, physical security requirements. Your team does not manage the servers, storage arrays, or physical networking HPE provides. This is a huge shift from the old on-prem model where companies had to buy hardware and manage it themselves. Instead of buying hardware, GreenLake sells you compute capacity, RAM, storage, backup capacity, network throughput. You don't buy a server, you pay for the amount of compute you actually use that month. Just like AWS or Azure, HPE measures your consumption and builds your bill around. vCPU hours, GB of storage, backup volume, burst capacity. You scale up and down without submitting new purchase orders, waiting for hardware, or installing new racks. Here's where it ties together. Traditional on-prem, CapEx. Buy hardware up front. Spend millions every three to five years. You own and refresh it. You maintain it. GreenLake, OPEX. No upfront hardware purchase. Pay monthly based on usage. HPE owns the hardware. HPE maintains it. Costs scale with business needs. OPEX gives CFOs predictable monthly spend. No depreciation. No surprise hardware failures. No capital budget battles. GreenLake is designed to feel like cloud, elastic scaling, API-driven controls, self-service portals, metered billing, burst capacity, but it also gives you on-prem speed, on-prem data control, on-prem compliance, on-prem security. It's the best of both worlds for organizations that can't move everything to AWS Azure. This is why GreenLake is popular with federal agencies, DOD, IC, hospitals, financial institutions, manufacturing, telco, and companies with strict data residency requirements. Let's say your company needs 500 vCPUs, 10 TB of RAM, 300 TB of storage traditional approach. You buy hardware for that full capacity, GreenLake approach. HPE installs maybe 20-30% more than you need, called buffer capacity, and you only pay for consumption. You automatically consume more when you need it. HPE bills you based on monthly usage. This eliminates the hardware refresh cycle and prevents oversight. So, the sentence, HP GreenLake manages the hardware layer and sells you capacity in an OPEX model, simply means, you don't buy the hardware, HPE installs it in your data center, HPE maintains it like a cloud provider, you pay monthly based on the capacity you use. It feels like AWS, but it lives on-prem. If you're exploring hybrid cloud, modernization or data center transformation, GreenLake is absolutely worth a look. If you want me to create slides, a PowerPoint storyboard, or a companion article to go with this video, just let me know. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.